In the latest turns of events, Rivian, a California-based EV manufacturer, has managed to shock the EV world. While most startups struggle to make a profit in these troubling times, Rivian is turning out to be the dark horse that investors want to bet on, and it's all thanks to the latest invention in EV technology. Let's take a closer look. A look at Rivian's performance. Rivian is just another startup dreaming of becoming the next Tesla, and you know what? They just might. Based in Michigan, the company was founded in 2009 and has quickly proven itself on the global stage. While other EV startups struggled to stay on their feet, Rivian has been doing rather well. In May 2023, the company broke the good news about being able to maintain its production target. Meanwhile, Rivian's competition has not been doing so well. Some either lowered their forecast for the year, while others revealed that they were not exactly making money. Even Fiskier, the manufacturer of the Ocean SUV and the Pair crossover, announced that it will be cutting down production to somewhere between 32,000 and 36,000 units, which is disappointing because the EV maker has had high hopes for the year with a forecast of 42,000 vehicles. Meanwhile, Nikola complained about its cash burn rate not being sustainable. For those of you who don't know, cash burn rate is the rate at which a company that's not yet making profits consumes its cash reserves. So if you're burning through too much cash at a very fast rate, then it's not exactly a good sign. While Nikola tries to figure out how to reduce the cash burn rate, Rivian is running in a league of its own. Rivian's Production Targets the young EV startup confirmed that they'll be making 50,000 cars every year on May 9th, 2023. This is exactly in line with the figure proposed during the company's fourth quarter and fiscal year 2022 earnings call. It's good news for investors who were getting rather disappointed with the performance of EV startups lately and Rivian's as well. The EV maker had to slash production outputs from the projected 500,000 to a measly 25,000 in 2022. But 2023 brings good news for Rivian. Chief Executive RJ Scaridge confirmed that if it keeps up, they can take advantage of fixed costs more efficiently. More importantly, it can help them sell each vehicle at a profit with long-term cost benefit throughout their integrated strategy. Seems like Christmas really came early for Rivian because the company isn't just doing well production-wise, they've managed to cut down gross loss as well. At the start of the year, analysts were expecting a gross loss of $752. It was $502 million in the first quarter of 2022, but Rivian shocked everyone with an operation loss of $535 million in the first quarter of 2023. What's more, the company managed to produce a staggering number of 9,395 vehicles in the first quarter and delivered 7,946 vehicles. This way, Rivian earned a mind-blowing revenue of $661 million at the start of this year. To make it even better, the EV maker also managed to reduce cost. Total operating expenses were $1.07 billion last year, but in 2022, Rivian managed to bring down that number to a shocking $898 million. Heck, Rivian managed to shore up its balance sheet with convertible bonds worth $1.5 billion, and so ended off the first quarter with $11.78 billion in cash, cash equivalents, and restricted cash, all while the company struggled to get by with the Federal Reserve's interest rate hikes. Rivian's Issues But it's not all rainbows and unicorns for Rivian. The American manufacturer still has its fair share of problems to deal with. In a company statement, Rivian admitted that the supply chain's issues will continue to be the main limiting factor of their normal facility output. The situation was worse in February 2023 when Rivian had to announce a fall in production forecast. They also had to announce a recall of more than 12,700 vehicles, driving down their shares by more than 8%. It was Rivian's third call ever since the company was founded in November 2021. Apparently, there was an issue with the sensor in the front passenger seatbelt system, but it didn't prove to be too much of a problem as less than 100 vehicles needed the part replaced. Interestingly, Rivian did not reveal the cost of the recall, but supply chain issues and recalls are hardly a secret in the automotive industry. These issues have only worsened during the COVID-19 pandemic. In fact, Rivian was forced to close the doors of its facility in Illinois, which severely affected production. It was one of the first assembly plants established by the company with a manufacturing capacity of 250,000 cars a year. The worst part is that EV startups expected the issues to persist in 2023 as well. 
but Rivian is holding on and is planning to introduce new engineering design changes and key technologies during the second half of 2023 to help deal with supply chain issues. The company has been able to impress investors so far with the technology it has to offer. Rivian's progress so far. The EV maker managed to turn a lot of heads with its R1T truck and R1S SUV. These cars were designed from the ground up with a keen focus on performance and sustainability. The powertrain is the company's own work. It employs four electric motors to deliver up to 750 horsepower and 826 lb-ft of torque. What's more, the car can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in a matter of 3.2 seconds and boasts a range of 300 miles. Going forward, the company plans to combat its many issues by investing in technology, expanding its lineup, and leveraging its partnership. Rivian's plan for the future Rivian has always focused on investing in EV technology to take itself to a new level. In recent years, the company has been working on going from a proprietary of 400V architecture to a 800V one. That would mean a new in-house family of drive units for both dual and quad motor configurations and just a complete revamp of the company's battery and charging division. It's a tall order for sure, but one that Rivian is not shying away from. The company's current quad motor system is based on Bosch sourced electric motors. Rivian also announced that the new standard battery pack will make use of LFP battery cells. It will be a pleasant change from the high nickel chemistry previously used in the large battery pack. With this change, Rivian plans to provide a better range of its vehicles, all the while cutting back on production costs for itself. What's more, the company will be able to be working on to develop a heat pump based thermal system to improve cold weather efficiency. The heat pump has been missing from the Rivian R1T and the Rivian R1S. Other technological investments by the company include a bi-directional home charger along with home energy products. The general idea is to expand beyond the DC chargers for both Rivian Adventure Network and fleet charging. The startup is also focusing on coming out with more powerful infotainment processing. The next generation autonomy compute platform and expanded autonomy perception sensors. It seems like Rivian is planning to improve its business at all levels. Rivian's partnership and acquisitions. That said, Rivian is also investing in labor, new factories, and machinery to increase its production company. The EV startup is also diversifying its portfolio with new acquisitions. In April 2022, Rivian purchased a major stake in AutoGrid, a Boston-based startup that specializes in developing software for EVs. Later in July of the same year, the company bought a major stake in Inmotion, a European EV maker that helped Rivian solidify its footing in the European market. However, the company's partnership with Amazon remains the most important piece in Rivian's strategy. Interestingly, Amazon is not the only partner backing the young startup. Rivian has also managed to secure the support of legacy automakers like Ford and Volkswagen. It's a lucrative arrangement for sure, as Rivian can be taken advantage of its partners and well-established production lines and wide distribution systems to help improve its service. Rivian's long-term goal is to take annual production to 150,000 units, so it'll only help further that goal. It seems like an achievable target as the company has 50,000 pre-orders for its consumer services at the moment and an agreement with Amazon for the delivery of 100,000 commercial delivery vans by 2030. That said, Rivian will also be improving its current lineup. For the year of 2023, the EV manufacturer will be introducing three over-the-air updates. The first one is a Neil mode that dropped down the R1T to 10 inches of ground clearance. This will help make cargo loading and unloading that much easier. Camp mode is another feature that will be introduced this year. Its purpose is to optimize the truck for camping. Rivian will also be improving their range on the RL1. It'll be a 14 mile improvement to be specific. All in all, Rivian is focusing on making technological advancements to help improve its businesses. Whether it can stay the course and maybe enter the same league as Tesla remains to be seen. Until next time, bye for now.